Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. And uh, subscribe if you like to, and hit the like button if you like to. And I appreciate it so very, very much. And, uh, you know, this has not been a good video day for me. I've had to redo three videos. <laughs> I'm batting zero here, boy, believe me. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, anyway, Letitia James. And that is the New York uh, Attorney General is really, really giving it to Trump. I think Trump is in a little bit of trouble now because I'm afraid and just read, too, that uh, two criminal charges he could be facing. There wasn't supposed to be no criminal charges, but now they're coming up with there could be two that he may be facing. So I don't know what that means, but we'll find out in the future, I'm sure. <laughs> Oh, my goodness, and not only that, it's involved his whole family. Why did he drag his whole family in there, if it's wrong? That's not right. That's not right. But he lied to banks, and he lied to financial institutions. But, you know, when you go to a bank and you apply for a loan, you go to a loan company, finance company, and ask for a loan. They investigate you. The credit bureau, businesses that you have, properties you own, they investigate you. Why wasn't Trump investigated through that? Just because he was past president? Or they just took him for granted? That's bad. You don't take anybody for granted. No. But he, he got by it. Somehow. Mm -mm. And Letitia James comes up with it. It isn't the art of the deal. It's the art of the steal. Yeah, that's a good saying. Yeah, and he can't do anything in New York City. No buying, no selling, no nothing. He, he is completely kiboshed in New York City. Yep. Hmm. Be interesting to see how this comes out. <laughs> oh dear. Our economy will be slowing down and it already is. We know that. Real estate will be hit hard. Well, no doubt. And senior raise is still being discussed. Hmm. Is it stimulus checks? Still being discussed too? Well, we hope so, don't we? Yeah, we hope so. Can't wait for that discussion to come up. My gal, my uh, moo moo is way too big for me. I've lost a lot of weight, and uh, it's just too big. <laughs> Pretty soon, I'm gonna have to have safety pins and pin everything on me. I guess. <laughs> Oh, dear, let's get back to the Ukrainian military, get back to Russia, which I hate to do. But last Tuesday, the Ukrainian military reported that Russian forces are continuing their efforts to regain control of Duntisk. And that Duntisk is the one that Ukrainians uh, took control of. And he's not standing for it. Mm-mm. He's going right back after Ukraine's now. Is that why he's getting all his uh, uh, people ready, you know, to be drafted? Mm-hmm. That's probably a good idea. In a September 13 post on Facebook, the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine said that Russian troops are conducting aerial reconnaissance and attacking Ukrainian forces as the Russians try to regain positions lost in the recent counteroffensive. It said the threat of air and missile strikes continues throughout Ukraine. Scroll down here if I don't lose anything. It's not been a good day for me in videos, let me tell you. 
Okay. Uh, regain positions lost in the recent counteroffensive. Okay. It said the threat of air and missile strikes continued throughout Ukraine. In just 24 hours, Russian forces launched two missile strikes, 25 airstrikes, and 11 MLRS attacks on both military and civilian targets in the Ukraine. The Ukrainian military claims that its forces have successfully repelled Russia's attacks in Senesiv, Bahumuski, uh, Krasnohovica, Vodane, Bizamim, Mimim, whatever, <laughs> and Norvo Hydro Hokokifa. Maybe if I keep this up, I could learn their language. Yeah, that's that's good. Meanwhile, Ukrainian forces launched nine strikes on seven targets, destroying two Russian air defense systems. Ukrainian missiles and artillery units attacked Russian manpower and equipment clusters, including a radio electronic warfare system, zoo park radar system, ammunition depots, depots and artic artillery units. The Ukrainian military also claimed that Russia has committed as many as 200 war crimes every day in the occupied territories of eastern Ukraine. The military also warns that over 70,000 square kilometers have been contaminated by mines and explosives. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> my oh my oh my oh my. Now I think there's more to this. I can get down to it but then I guess not okay so that's about it so the war goes on and on and on and uh, God love them I don't know going back and forth back and forth it's just is it really worth it losing all them lives killing all them innocent people children and women and is it really worth it? Just for land? Oh, my goodness. That that just don't seem right. No, it don't. Well, I'm going to cut that out now. And this is a redo of a video that I had already done. But um, my camera blacked out again. I don't get it. And um, I found out um, that... Windows, the last two updates that Windows done is what has messed up the computers. Yeah, they they failed. And everybody's scrambling to get their computers back up and running. And here I was blaming my computer and blaming Finger Hut and come to find out it was Windows updates. Well, I still can't get to restore. I could put it back. But they messed it up so bad I can't get to restore. I can't open up some of my files yet. I can't get nowhere. Now when they repair that, are they going to let us know? And what are we going to have to do then? Will we be able to get to our restore? So we can go back, say last week sometime, before this all started. Well, it would have to be a week before last week. Yeah, because I've been going through this for a week and a half now. Well, it's over a week and a half now. My goodness, time is going so fast I just can't keep up. I was waiting for our Indian summer, and uh, we're down in the 50s tonight here in Iowa. We had a beautiful, gorgeous day in the 60s. Yesterday it was 90. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. And now tomorrow, autumn begins. Yeah, autumn begins for us tomorrow. Uh, <clears throat> don't know. We'll see. Could wake up to a blizzard. <laughs> I, asked, I asked one of my helpers <laughs> today <laughs> when they were done weeding, and I said, what happened to our Indian summer? They said, Mother Nature has a hangover. She partied too much. <laughs> well... Could be, you know, 
<laughs> I don't get it. And speaking of Mother Nature, when they come up with all this um, climate change stuff, how can they go against Mother Nature? How do they think that's going to work? Or am I way off here? I'm not understanding it. I need to look it up. Yes, I do. I need to study it. Because doesn't Mother Nature have climate change in her book? She does what she wants when she wants to. <laughs> you know? How are you going to fight Mother Nature? And billions and billions of dollars are going into it. Okay, we'll see. Whatever. Can't tell it by me. No. Um, <clears throat> that um, deal, I've got just a few more minutes here. I don't like to go too long. I'm afraid I'll black out again. But uh, I had one uh, subscriber said, what do I use for makeup? Okay. Well, I always go with mauve uh, lipstick. Now, I just picked mine up at the dollar store. So it's not anything expensive. I think this was a dollar. And it's by what's called Believe Beauty. That's the name of it. Believe Beauty. And all it is is mauve. That's all it is. And I always wear mauve. Okay. And um, I always thought that I would try um, some of that other stuff. But the expensive stuff, what do you call that? Whatever. But um, I just get by better without breaking out with a rash if I want to wear a little makeup. And uh, that cream foundation, uh-uh. No, can't do that one. Now I have a little, uh, a little brush here and I don't even know where I got this from. But if I can get this open, I did. I got to clean it up a little bit blow the dust off of it. It's not dust, it's the powder. <laughs> but anyway, it looks like dust. But um, I got this, and this is called L.A. Colors Shape It Up Sculpt Contour. And I've got four colors in here. See? And it's just a powder. You just put a little bit on your brush, and I put this on my eyelids to highlight my eyes a little bit. And uh, which one did I tap? That one. This one is, I go down here first to this dark one. I put that on the bottom of my, my cheeks right here. You can see some of it. And then I lighten it up with this one. And then um, I put a little bit of this on here and nose and stuff to cut the shine off. And that, that's it. That's it, because, well, I have a little eyebrow pencil. Wait a minute here. <clears throat> and I, that's not it. Okay, and I have a, because I always am a Maybelline uh, user. I use Maybelline all the time from teenager all the way up. And I got my eyelash Maybelline. It's a pretty little tube here. And I got that at the dollar store lash sense and um, I've never seen a little tube like this you know but uh, that's, that's it that's all there is to it yeah and I sometimes will put it on I did today but then sometimes I won't because um, I don't like the flakiness because when it starts to flake off uh, it sometimes gets in my eye and that kind of bothers me. Then I have this little thing here. And this is a Maybelline. Can you see that? It's hard to see because it's so little. It's Maybelline. It's right there anyway. But that's the brand Maybelline. Yeah. And um, this is my eyeliner. Yeah. And you just... Uh, Put the little thing up like that. And I line my eyes with it. Just the bottom. <coughs> and uh, 
that's it. Now I have this little pencil here. Uh, sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. It's kind of like a bluish purple. Now if I want to um, put a little blue on my eyelid, on my eyelids, then uh, I just use this a little bit. I wet it up real good, make sure it's nice and moist, and I just rub it a little bit, and then I just take my finger and smooth it out. And that's all I use that for. Now this little thing, <clears throat> if I don't want to put a lot of lipstick on, or if I want to put lipstick on, and I want to keep it moist, this is the little moisture stick. And you just put that on your lipstick. And it keeps your lips moist. Yeah, and that's it. I don't use foundation. I can't. Uh, it breaks me out so bad. Even by Maybelline. And I swear, I love Maybelline. It's cheap. And it's a good cosmetic. <clears throat> but, um, uh, that foundation. Well, I have very oily skin. For one thing. And, uh, that foundation, it just gets... What do I want to say? Mucky. You know? And then I'll start to itch. And then I'm I'm broke out. And I can't do that. Now these right here. I will take it off now. I'm getting ready. Pretty soon now to get ready for bed. And uh, I'll go ahead and use my Olay facial soap. And wash my face off really good. Get all this off my eyelids. And, and then I got Vaseline. Uh, petroleum jelly that I take off the eyelash get that all off and everything then I go wash my face my olive ole and uh, that's it and I take my Vaseline and I take my lipstick off and it comes off very easy and uh, that's all I use you know now L'Oreal that was what I was trying to think of I always wanted to try L'Oreal but you know that's gotten too expensive and I, I just can't afford it can't do it and um, do you, I was going to ask, do you ladies remember the Saren Coventry jewelry? I think they still sell some too. Price is probably sky high by now. But uh, yeah, I used to love Saren Coventry jewelry. Yes, I did. I didn't know if any of you would still remember that or not. But uh, I think they probably still sell some of it. I haven't looked it up. I'm too busy keeping up with the wars and poor Trump and his troubles. <laughs> this and that and every other little thing. But okay. That's it for tonight. I'll see you all tomorrow. Just say your prayers. God bless you all. I love you. Good night.